Hi everyone, and welcome to Crappy Kitchen. Today, we're going to learn how to make uh, Velveeta uh, shells and cheese with 2% uh, milk cheese. It's got uh, 180 calories, uh, 25 grams of uh, trans fat, that's not right, 630 grams of sodium. Wow. Okay. But first, I'm going to show you guys the line about kitchen. Let's get started. Velveeta mac and cheese, it costs about, uh, well, I don't really know how much it costs. Uh, but it does expire in February of 2020, so if you're going to eat it, eat it soon. Uh, the directions say, remove lid and cheese sauce pouch. Cheese sauce pouch. Wow. There's a, here's the cheese sauce pouch. Shiny. Oh, there's powder falling off of it. There seems to be a uh, white powder inside the Velveeta mac and cheese. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny whether or not it's cocaine or preservative. Uh, that's up to you guys to decide. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Add water to the fill line cup. Stir. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some water. Water comes in bottles like these. Then you're probably going to open it. And uh, fill to line in cup. All right, here we go. There's actually two lines in the cup, so we're really taking a gamble here. Why don't we just stop between both lines? It could be too much water or too little water. Who's to say? Uh, next is uh, stir. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a utensil. I'm using used chopsticks that I found outside, but you might want to use a spoon or a fork or a knife. Whatever tickles your fancy. You can use one chopstick or both chopsticks. Here we go. And you're going to want to uh, stir it really good. Now there is a warning that says, uh, warning, help prevent risk of fire, add water to fill line, do not leave microwave unattended. Now, if you're perceptive, you may have noticed that there's no microwave here. And I was told I'm not allowed to use fire to cook this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make do. And we're just going to skip the microwave part completely. So imagine that there was about three and a half minutes in between here. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to stir in contents of cheese pouch. All right, here we go. Now, there's still white powder on this cheese pouch. It's evidently making it hard to open. Uh, you might want a pair of scissors. Uh, <laughs> there we go. But who needs scissors when you have teeth, am I right? Your parents didn't pay for braces for nothing. Wow, look at that. That's some primo cheese sauce right there. So we're going to go ahead and add it into the cold room temperature water. You want to get that cheese sauce in there real good, as the package uh, says. Next, you should stir in the cheese pouch. All right. So you're going to want to get your used chopsticks or utensil of your choice. You're going to mix that in there. Now, I imagine it would turn out differently if we did have a microwave or cooked it properly. But we don't, and we're college students, so we got to make do, right? So we're going to stir in the cheese getting real nice and clumpy. There we go. Now, if that isn't appetizing, I don't know what it is. And that's how you make uh, Velveeta stirred mac and cheese. It's delicious. Come back next time to find out how to cook more things. <laughs>